I think George R. R. Martin called HBO and was like, you need the next episode to be called. They are technically dragons. <laughs> Kim Renfro referred to a blog post that George R. R. Martin made about dragons. Now, I, I want to point out that, uh, you know, basically George R. R. Martin, here's a, here's a short version of the story. George R. R. Martin got really upset after he listened to our segment about dragons last week <laughs> on the podcast. I'm so right? sorry. He saw <laughs> our Instagram reel and was like, that's yes. wrong. <laughs> yes. I mean, in the episode and in our TikTok, which also created a lot of uh, uh, commentary online, uh, Kim Renfro distinguished between wyverns and dragons, right? Wyverns mm-hmm. being creatures that uh, ba- basically their arms are the wings, right? Versus right. dragons that have like four four limbs and also wings separately. Yeah. Uh, I thought and- it was a fun fact. Oh, yes. Tur- it turns out it's not so fun or oh, a oh, fact. Uh, oh, P- the internet was not amused by your buffoonery, uh, Kim Renfro. <laughs> so sorry. I- First of all, a lot of people pointed out that they think dragon slash wyvern is a kind of square rectangle situation, you mm-hmm. know, where like yeah. wyverns are a type of, of dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and not you know not necessarily the other way around, but George R. R. Martin, in a blog post, he said, "quote Dragons do exist in the world of Westeros. Wyverns too, down in Sotharios. Sotharos, <laughs> uh, like Westeros but south. Right. Ergo, in my books, the Targaryen <laughs> sigil has two legs, as it should. Uh, why would any Westerosi ever put four legs on a dragon when they could look at the real thing and and could their limbs? My wyverns have two legs as well. They differ." From the dragons of my world, chiefly in size, coloration, and the inability to breathe fire. End quote. According to George R. R. Martin, uh, wyverns and dragons have the same amount of legs in his world, but they are different only in terms of size, coloration, and fire breathing. So it seems like George has a different definition than than Kim did from last episode. Uh, but the reason George R. R. Martin brought this up is because he is not happy with how the Targaryen sigils look in the show Hmm. House of the Dragon and at the end of Game of Thrones. The Targaryen sigils, in his opinion, should have two legs. And in the show, they have four legs, I believe. And in his opinion, that is far too many legs. It's too many legs. (laughs) It's too, too too many. (laughs) It's too, too many. Um, He says uh, the Targaryen sigil has the proper number of legs. uh, Two, it is not exactly anatomically correct. The wings are way too small compared to the body, and of course, no dragon has three heads. That bit is purely symbolic, meant to reflect Aegon the Conqueror and his two sisters. End quote. He's referring to, basically, early on in Game of Thrones, the Targaryen sigil had two legs, and then later mm-hmm. on in, in Game of Thrones, and also now in House of the Dragon, the Targaryen sigils have four legs on the dragons. And he's not happy about that, and he ends his blog post by saying, quote, Fantasy needs to be grounded. It is not simply a license to do anything you like. Smog and Toothless, Smog from Hobbit, Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon, maybe dragons, but they should never be confused. Ignore canon, and the world you've created comes apart like tissue paper, end quote. So, <laughs> uh, you know, a lot to Some unpack shade. here. Some a lot shade. to unpack here. I just want to say that, hey, I appreciate pedantic nitpicking more than most people I know. So I, I, have, I have no opposition to this blog post in concept. Where this blog post does rub me the wrong way is he's basically shading his coworkers, right? Like mm-hmm. he helped to work on House of the Dragon, right? He like he helped to write House of the Dragon. Obviously, he he's a collaborator on mm-hmm. this show, and he's basically sniping at the people who work on the show and saying like your dragon sigils don't look right. That's <laughs> and, and and I, David Chen, think that's not cool to like kind of take out your frustration via blog post. It just feels a little unprofessional to me. Kim Renfro, your reaction. What I think is interesting is that he says that he tried to get them to <laughs> fix it. <laughs> so, so it's it's like it's not like he came straight to the blog being right. like they would not listen is, to reason. This is wrong and I'm annoyed about it. He's so like, I've tried. Them up. <laughs> I tried to fix it and it won't be fixed. And now I have to let everyone know that I do not approve of this four-legged <laughs> dragon nonsense. Right. Um yeah. because it is something that fans had noticed. Like I I remember seeing conversation crop up online when like HBO started putting out promo images or like promo, even like merch and stuff that had this four legged dragon being like, what does it mean? Is this a new Targaryen si- like sigil right. is Jon Snow and like Danny combined going to have like a new Targaryen. <laughs> like it was like, there were like theories being built around the reason why the sigil might've changed. And I th- was it- one of the theories. It looks cool. 
Because <laughs> I think that's, no. that's the ultimate uh, <laughs> reason why the, the sigil is different now, right? I guess. I, I mean, I oh, well, truly... They, they, they wanted to keep it uh, consistent with what was at the end of Game of Thrones, which is a, a Targaryen sigil that had four legs. I right? guess Four legs in the dragon. It is strange to me that they wouldn't just re- like revert it back. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird quirk of the system. So I yeah. part of me doesn't blame George for being like, I don't know why they're sticking to this thing that I'm telling them is wrong, but I'm telling you all that like those of you who right. notice the difference are valid and I've now said my piece and I don't know. At the end of the day he's not saying like the show sucks and should never be nominated for an Emmy or something. <laughs> like this is the reason I don't want any Emmys for this specific reason. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's still very complimentary of it overall, but it is it is a very interesting dynamic that he has always he's always had a very interesting and I think easy to overread into uh public facing mm-hmm. like interface with the adaptations of his work. And I don't know. I don't blame him for being protective of it or nitpicky. Jesse Earl, what do you think? I mean, I don't have much to add other than it is weird to me that they're trying to keep it consistent with the end of Game of Thrones, uh, which, A, the end of Game of Thrones is never something I would aim to be consistent with, I guess. <laughs> but also because, like, I feel I, I need to know. I don't know exactly where they introduced the new version of the sigil, but, like, presumably that would be when Danny was kind of doing her own thing and kind of creating her own line and sort of being like, I'm going to break the wheel and all that jazz. And so it would feel weird to use that version of the sigil that she creates versus what appeared in the earlier versions of Game of Thrones, which would presumably be more consistent with what House of the Dragon would be historically, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he writes, Game of Thrones gave us the correct two-legged sigils for the first four seasons and most of the fifth. But when Danny's fleet hove into view, all the sails showed four-legged dragons. Someone got sloppy, I guess. Or someone opened a book on heraldry and read just enough of it to muck it all up. End quote. Yeah, so, I guess you. Could, yeah, I guess you could make it work in universe of like, oh, someone just had to hastily make these, and they sort of like, yeah, it looks close enough, you know, those little like right. AI <laughs> off-brand version of Westeros. <laughs> and like, <laughs> it's like you know, poor Daenerys Targaryen didn't know her own sigil like correctly and yeah. like guessed that there mm. were three heads and four legs for some reason and two yeah. wings you know but little then, four then, three two case, you, one right, it de- situation it definitely then does not make sense that they would have the four legs yeah. right, in the in the house of the dragon universe right like yeah that's yeah. that's the part that's weird to me like it makes i can make it make sense in game of thrones but have it in house of dragon feels strange i also find it very fascinating because I have not I have a different blog post of his open that I wanted to reference um, yeah. as we talked about this episode anyways, because back in 2019, when it was first announced by HBO that House of the Dragon, I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys remember this, but it was like a surprise that it was like straight to a full 10 season episode pickup, right. yeah, yeah. not even like, oh, they're making the pilot. Um, and in that post, he has the big HD uh, poster basically that HBO revealed for that announcement. And that sigil only has two legs. So like in like the big rollout for house of the dragon, the Targaryen sigil only had two legs and somehow between 2019 and the actual production of the show, someone put it back to the four legs against George R. R. Martin's wishes. Apparently. Well, either either my, my guess would be either someone just missed a memo or the other option I could possibly see is they had a lot of those four-legged ones left, at, like <laughs> like props and stuff from the end of Game of Thrones, right. and we're just like, oh, it saves us money, just use these, and just went with it. Mm. That's yeah. my other guess. They mm. have like we have like five hundred of these things. You want to just burn these things? You know, like <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I would imagine a lot of them are digital though. So like, yeah. I don't know. It's it's weird. It's weird. Anyway. Someone tell us if you're listening to this and you're not mad at me about calling the Wyverns <laughs> and you know for some reason why there are four legs still on the Targaryen sigil in House of Dragon. Yeah. Well, we've yeah. been canceled as it is for that. So, yeah. <laughs> a cast of kings at gmail.com. But yes, George was not happy about, uh, or, or George is keenly attuned to the differences between dragons and wyverns. And uh, we will hear about it in the show in his time. Um, I I, but, yeah. I do love that this is just a conversation about fictional beasts. Like, yes, the <laughs> distinction between wyverns and dragons is very clear for these made-up animals, you know? <laughs> right. Uh, but, you know, I agree with you that there is a, a component of it that's, like, extremely yeah, yeah, silly. Yeah. But also, 
I agree with what he says at the end. Oh, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Fa- fantasy needs... Be- there are rules. You can't just make shit up willy-nilly. No, I agree. Um, Keep consistent with your storytelling. I do think it's a little <laughs> weird to be sticklers for the rules for, like, wyverns when we, like, literally haven't seen yeah. these wyvern thingies in in, in the show. And I, 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 do they appear? Are they major characters in the books? Like, I don't know, you know? No, anyway. no, no. Yeah, so... That's that's the thing. It's like it's not even it's not even just a fictional thing. It's like a fictional thing that doesn't even get referenced very much in the books, right? Anyway, okay, whatever. I support maintaining the rules, and good luck to George R. R. Martin getting the sigils the way he wants them. Hey everyone, David Chen here. Thank you so much for watching that video from Decoding TV. If you want to get an audio version of the show, all you got to do is go to podcast.decodingtv.com. And if you want to support what we do, get ad-free episodes of the podcast and also bonus episodes of the podcast. Go to decodingtv.com and become a paid member. Of course. You can also like and subscribe for more. We appreciate it. Thanks. See you later.